All right. We said his name, and uh, that's the game. Mark? We're we're talking to Brent. Brent. Oh hi. Hey, are you a Metal Gear fan? Um. Well, I've I've played the uh, the first one. Okay. On my Vita. On the uh, Vita. Well, hey, yeah. how uh, how is, can you see the screen at home? Do you want to take a shot at question two? I'm just I'm just turning up my volume. Sorry. Sure. What did you say? I said if you could see the screen at home, do you want to take a a a a a a, 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 a oh, we're gonna start this again. Hold on a sec here. Hold on a sec. Okay, three, two, one. Uh, we'll let you give a shot at question number two at home if you could see your screen. The remote controlled missile was known by which nickname in Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> I don't know this. <laughs> Can you see uh, y y y Tarkarov, Eileen, Nikita, Catherine, or Natasha? What do you think? Uh, no chat cheating. I don't want to see any uh, any any posts Natasha. in there. I'll get Eric to ban you, bro. What do you think? Can I can I ask the question? Yes, you get three lifelines. Go ahead. Well, I was going to ask something that didn't have anything to do with Metal Gear. Okay, well, we can use that as one of your lifelines. Go ahead. Is, is Rocco there, by the way? Rocco yeah. is here. Oh, cool. Because, yeah, this kind of goes to him, too. Um, it, was, it was a question about uh, Dragon Ball. Because I noticed, like, you guys did a dub. You did some dubbing stuff with Funimation, right? Yes. And, uh, yeah, it got me thinking about, like... Because... Because I live in uh, I live in England and we grew up with the uh, the ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z for the most of it. And I never got uh, Rocco's opinion on kind of what he thought about the ocean dub. The ocean? Do you know? Are you familiar with the ocean it was dub? A Canadian uh, dub. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I think it has some really good actors in it. I think a lot of it overall was bullshit, but yeah. Some of my favorite voice actors were in there. I thought uh, Piccolo was. I think Scott oh. McNeil is such a good Piccolo. Yeah. Um, who else? Who else did I like? Can you answer to a beat? Yeah. I think there's a lot. I think Scott McNeil was an excellent piccolo. I think uh, <laughs> Vegeta wasn't bad. Uh, Vegeta was not bad. Uh, he talked like this and it wasn't that bad. Nappa was pretty good. Uh, and Captain Ginyu was good. He was like a radio announcer. Mm, uh, I liked him just as much as the Japanese do. Uh, but then some people sucked. Like, uh -oh. King Kai, he sucked. Master Roshi sucked. Just hire an old man. Uh, uh, uh. Once they moved the dub to Texas. They had one guy just making growly voices. And it got really old that everyone sounded like this. But they fixed that and now it's okay. But I still don't listen to the dub anyway. Subtitles. That's it. That's all I have to say. Well, you got a standing ovation for that. Well, Brent, I hope that answers the question. Yeah, definitely. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, let's give you another shot. I answer question two for you. But if you look at your screen at home right now, question number three, who do you need to call on the codec in order to save your progress? Oh, I used to know this. You uh, used to. Mei Ling. Mei Ling. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I remember it was like Yeah, a and Chinese... used with only one lifeline. You got it correct. Thank you so much for calling, Brent. Brent did it, guys.